Hey, Lights Out Gaming here, coming at you guys with a new video, and this one's going to be about Destiny 2. Now, for the past couple of months, there have been some supposed leaks about Destiny's sequel. And with these, there are always those people that are saying, Oh, my uncle, my brother, my friend, are they work at Bungie. They are working on Destiny 2. Now, the only problem with this is, there are some of those people that will say it, like, Oh, my uncle that worked for Nintendo. Not referencing the game. Amazing game, though. But... With these come the attention seekers, and assuming that these leaks are coming from a genuine source, which you can't, you can't say that all these people that are working on Destiny 2 aren't genuinely working on it, and that they have taken a stern, solid vow of silence about the game. No, there's going to be people that are like, no, I'm going to I'm going to make some money off this. I'm a I'm going to give these people what they want. I'm going to tell them about this. And yeah, that might happen, but again, keep in mind those attention seekers. Now, with the new subclass idea. I really like it. With the new subclass redesign. Good idea. I mean, we could see some new grenades we could see new types of melees instead of like the titans only having like these the punch they could have and they could get a second grenade like the hunters did with uh taken king with the third subclass and but in one of the most recent leak that i've seen supposed leak they were talking about how there were going to be a new um redesign of the subclass as in like Oh, it's all going away. Clean slate. It, you're going to get aesthetic stuff that might show that you're a Destiny 1 player. And then with um, the subclass that it's going to be a different color. Maybe, probably not. But if um, the photo on screen that you're seeing is a representation of an artist that was hired. Uh, this was real. An artist was hired and did a concept art of a new version of the subclass, and I believe that what I have up there now is the hunter, I believe, but, um, it, with this comes the idea of, is it going to be the same subclass? Are they even going to have Golden Gun, uh, Hammer of Soul, and Sunsinger? Because there was this one idea that circulated around a couple of different sites of it's going to be one type of guardian, and the subclasses are going to be Titan, Hunter, Warlock. You increase your armor, you're a Titan, you're slower. You increase your recovery, you're more of a Warlock. And you increase your agility, you're more of a Titan. Or, sorry, Hunter. And as much as I think that would be a really cool thing to where it's... To, but that would turn it more into just a regular old first-person shooter. And, oh... I need to be more of a tank for this strike. You just throw on three different piece of, pieces of armor that turn you into a tank, and oh, whoop de do! now I'm a titan with max armor, no agility, like your sprint is literally you doing the extra effort of moving your gun up and down as though it's sprinting. And then the warlock with, I, I, I think that the self res might stick around, but I'm not sure. If they make it one class, which is just the Guardian, and then the subclasses being Titan, Hunter, Warlock, with sub-subclasses, I don't know. And then they might change that type of stuff. But, um, another thing is, I I believe it might have been Enkutch who brought this up in one of his videos. Um, he brought up the idea of simply having guns, like, getting rid of the scout rifle, assault rifle, bur and the pulse rifles, and making it into the rifle category, and making it so that you can have different types of rifles, like Amelon or um, Hake, I, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. But um, And the different guns do different things, like, oh, the Hake rifles are going to be the faster rate of fire assault rifle archetype, and the Amelon are going to be a bit closer to the uh, 
scout rifles because it seems like each each company or weapon manufacturer they if you're a no uh destiny player you could you you've seen the weapons from the gunsmith and like hockey they they tend to make the assault rifles be a bit better and they look more iconic and then you've got the Amalan scout rifles which best example is Talalak which amazing gun and the 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 i the iconic scout rifle is that is the scout rifle of the Amalan industry it's harder hitting longer range stability is decent it's got a bit of a kick and the mediocre rate of fire and then the Hake assault rifles are going to be massive rates of fire and or not massive, I shouldn't say that, but they, they have a higher rate of fire. They're not quite bullet hoses. And they don't have a ton of impact, of, aside from the um, anomaly called Deal Breaker. But, um, and then the stability is in the middle. And I don't know how they would bring in pulse rifles other than making it like something they did with like the Kvashtov, the exotic version, with how it's a it's more of a perk than anything and yeah i think that, that would be really cool i mean the assault rifle is just it's an assault rifle that you flip a button and it's burst fire you flip another button and it's an assault rifle not 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 so much that you have all three because that can really screw with things and the clash stuff to be honest i haven't seen it in pvp or pve in a long time and it, it, it feels to be forgotten because it, it can't keep up with the other guns. And it's almost a waste of an exotic slot. Because it does what legendaries do. And it doesn't... The, the only special thing about it is that it's... It's more of a token of memory. And nostalgia. And it can switch between fire modes. I mean... If you max out its... Um, magazine ca capabilities. Or capacity. And then you switch on the old site and then semi-automatic, you got yourself a pretty pretty good um, scout rifle because you carry 500 plus rounds and then you got a 78 round mag and its fire rate is, you set it, it's not like it's super difficult to uh, click 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 but it's, you can change the rate of fire by just managing how fast you click and the Stability on it is pretty good, just like that. Now, with, um, again, I believe it was Enkutch who brought up the open world aspect of Destiny 2. Awesome. I completely agree, that would be amazing. And I, I don't want there to be, in his video he talked about how it could be similar to Skyrim with how, like, you fast travel... I think that that would be cool, but I'd like to see something similar to, like, you get in your ship, your spaceship, and you have to fly there. And then, like, with um, going to a different planet, making it so that, no, it's not so much a transit or, like, I get you'd have to do a loading th screen, but one of my friends on, on console, they have said, why not give us little guns on there so we can, in the loading screen, shoot the shoot the asteroids and give us something to do. That's a pretty good idea. I mean, imagine flying to Mer Mercury after you've um, finished, the, to go to the lighthouse once you've finished your flawless run. And, uh, whoa, asteroid belt, blue, 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 you blow some stuff up, and then you get there, you touch down, and your ship lands. I mean, it would add, I mean, that I'm asking a bit, bit much of Bungie to do that, but I think people will agree with me with um, how you can do that or grimoire. Read random grimoire cards while you're transiting to another planet. And you don't have to have control of the ship. You don't even have to bring in the shooting the asteroids. But, like, you, you can... Bungie can make it so that you get the lore in-game. People aren't going to listen to the lore. It's going to be, like, you have to be able to turn it on and off. But, like... Just to have it there. That way that these um, hierarchies of the PC master race people, they don't really care about Destiny, but like all these people that are against Destiny and say, oh, there's no story. I have to go onto a website and read the grimoire to get the story. 
yeah, there's, it's not there, and Destiny's story is convoluted and, quite frankly, scary on how complicated it is. And, um, it can see improvements in Destiny 2. I don't know what the name of it is going to be. I, I hope they come up with something better than Destiny 2, because I think that that's a bit, uh, what's, not quite bland, but it's, it's not what I think that they could, I mean, think of a word, uh, if anybody watches this video, like, put it in the comments, comments such can, uh, I can't, I can't even think of a couple of names, but, like, just, if they named Destiny 1, Destiny, Legacy, or, uh, anything like that, uh, they could, Fate, I don't know, I mean, Fate and Destiny are a lot, a lot the same, and this is, Destiny is 2, Destiny 2 is supposed to be, the revamping of Destiny, it's, it's, apparent, from what I've heard in these supposed leaks, it's supposed to be what Destiny was supposed to be, it was, this is going to be what they wanted as the first product, granted it's going to be different, m probably a different story and more immersive, and they've fixed the flaws from the first one, but it's supposed to be the experience they wanted us to get from the first game. Thank you all for watching the video. If you enjoyed the video, leave a comment down in the comments section of what you think Destiny 2 should be called. And if you don't have an idea of what it should be called, just call it Destiny 2. It just shows me that you enjoyed the video. And if you really genuinely enjoyed the video, leave a like. And if you really want to, subscribe. Helps me and my colleagues out a lot. And I hope you guys have a good day. I'll see you guys next time. Lights out.